Welcome to Denmark. My name is Simon and I work as an audiologist for Widex. Today I'm standing outside of our headquarters in Lünge and I get the chance to talk to our expert on sound. Jakob finds new ways how you can also use sound to find relaxation in your everyday life. So come on, join me in. Periodic relief from demanding tasks in our everyday lives is very important. At Widex, we feel the same. So that's why if we introduced a new way to actually uh, relax a little bit more and to give you an option to concentrate. And one of the developers that is responsible for sound relax in our hearing aids is Jakob. He's right there and let's talk sound, Jakob, yeah. right? Nice Good to see you. Yeah. So Jakob, you're, you're the expert on, on sound relax, mm -hmm. but but to talk about sound relax, I think we need to go a little bit back to 2008 when we first introduced the SEND programs. Mm -hmm. And for that, we've introduced fractal tones. Mm -hmm. But first of all, can you maybe tell us what fractal tones actually are and how they work? It's a way of, of producing an endless row of or sequence of, of random generated sounds. And that way we can create sounds that are never repeating, though it's still in the same sort of tonal world. So it's actually like a mathematically way how you can program music, sort of. Yeah. Can you yeah, say that? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, and we use it obviously in Sen to, to, uh, to give a tinnitus therapy. But mm. with the sound relax situation, we, we go a little bit beyond than that, right? It's mm. all about relaxation and well-being and concentration. And there's a little bit more to that than uh, the fractal tones that are still the baseline to that. But mm. can you introduce us to what's new in sound relax compared to uh, the sand tones? Yeah, uh, it's, we have different things that are new. And, and one of them is that we can now make uh, wave-like sounds, nature sounds. When you think of waves coming in on the beach, some are big and some are small, and it's, there's always a difference. It's this variation. We use the fractal generator to create the variations. We also have some new capabilities of changing this sort of the sound of the tone, so we can make it more, you could say, some would say more relaxing or more smooth or nice, nice to listen to. Yeah. Cool. And we can hear it now as well, how important nature is to well-beings. We are inside the courtyard now in Lünge. Um, and the, the wind is going through the leaves and you can, you can feel that. So that is sort of that vibe yeah. about relaxation and seeking a spot to relax. Um, but you also implemented pure sound in, into to sound relax, right? So a lot more people have access to pure sound now via sound relax. Yeah, that's true. So it's about making the delay, the process time in the hearing aid as short as possible. The pure sound program is sort of has, has this very low delay, which uh, when you combine the, the direct incoming sound in an open fitting, and when you combine that with the processed sound from the hearing aid, the delay uh, is, is very small. Mm -hmm. And that gives sort of a, a, a natural sound. So we'll have, we use that for sort of maintaining the, the, the natural sound. And that's what we try yeah. to do. And I think it's remarkable because when, whenever we talk about pure sound, it's all about delay. That it's not only a lower delay in pure sound, it's the lowest in the industry. And mm. to make that happen also for, for sound relax is, is astonishing. Mm. Um, talking about astonishing, what is the biggest challenge actually, or was the biggest challenge when you, when you were uh, introducing sound relax to the hearing aid? Can you think of something that you can share with us in, in the R&D process? Um, yeah, actually, um, those who listened to the very first version of, of uh, Zen, they found that they had like one orchestra on one side and another in the other side and playing the same kind of music, but not coordinated. Okay. And later on, we were able to coordinate it. So the timing was a bit better. And what we can do now is actually we can play even the same tone in the two hearing aids at exactly the same time. And we can use that in order to then change it a little bit so that we can actually place the sounds not just in your ears, but more around you. So it's, it's a much more controlled environment. And, and 
For that, we need to know exactly the timing of the two hearing aids, which is, I think, not, not an easy task. It's tricky to do, okay. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's nice for me to know this. It's like yeah. the detail that yeah. you put into it in, in yeah. your research and also in the development that actually makes that experience. And I think yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. So thank you, Jakob, for okay. your time. You're it was welcome. good seeing you. Yeah. yeah. Keep it up.